Hello, hello, my name is Jay. I hope you are doing great. The other day I was looking for font to code. Um, there's a huge list of fonts if you search uh, fonts to code. There's a huge list, a lot of them are free, some of them are premium, very expensive ones. But I found one that I really like, the name is Ephira Code. I'm gonna put the link in the description if you really like this one. But watch the video first, and if you like it, you can go ahead, download it, and install it. Here it is. Um, as you can see, you can see quick um, how it's gonna look. And if you scroll down, there is a ton of information about the font. As you can see, there's a huge button here. By the way, a huge shout out to Nikki, the creator of the font, Fira Code. Thank you. Um, this button, you can download that file. It's gonna be a zip file with all the files. Install the font in your computer, just like another font. And then after you're done with that, uh, we're gonna open VS Code, okay? Here you can see some examples of how it looks, but what I'm gonna do is actually go there and do it. So let's close this. All right, and here, this is my VS Code. I'm gonna go ahead, and by the way, I have a HTML page with some JavaScript because I wanna test the font. I have a Java, empty JavaScript file so we can test it and make sure it works. I'm gonna click here on code, preferences, settings. This is your settings. And as you can see here on the top right, you're gonna see this icon. Open settings is a JSON file, let's click on it. Here you go. So this is our, these are my settings. Maybe yours looks a little bit different. So what I'm gonna do here is after this one, I'm gonna add two lines to this JSON file. So after you install the font, then you can do this and it will work, okay? Let's go ahead, editor, dot, font, family. Whoops, all right. So I press enter, it actually added some font here, but this is not the one that I want, so I'm just gonna remove this. And the one that I want is Fira code. All right. And then after this, I want the ligatures. If that's, that's how you say it, ligatures, ligatures, ligat. All right, you're gonna do editor dot font ligatures, if that's how it is. And you have the option to be false or true. We're gonna put it true because we want that cool stuff to show. And I'm gonna show you why. And that's it, I'm gonna save this file. And I don't know if you noticed, but it actually changed the font already here. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close this settings JSON file. I'm gonna go to my, I'm gonna close settings here too. Go to my JavaScript. And let's create like a function. All right, const. I'm gonna create like an H verification function. Let's do H verification is equal to, I'm gonna do an arrow function. So H and then an arrow. Oh, now this is, this is, this is why these fonts are really good. Now you can see that I did this equal and doing like an arrow and actually do the arrow for you, those are the ligatures or whatever is pronounced. This is why I like it. And there's a lot of fonts that they do the same thing. So it depends what do you like, why do you like and all that stuff. All right, let's continue with the function. Um, so if H is, um, more or equal, there you go. There's another one. Look, beautiful, right? To 18. Whoops, I don't know what I'm doing. 18. We're gonna console log. Uh, sorry, let's do template literals like sorry, your H. Oh, sorry, you are, let's say you are whatever H, 
So let's say, sorry, you are whatever years old. And let's do else. And here we can do console log something like, I don't know, welcome. Welcome. All right. So here you can see a couple, one of those, and they would look really good. Now for video tutorials, I do not use them because I don't want to confuse some people that are beginners and they don't know yet that they can install fonts like this. So in my tutorials, you won't see this. I just go ahead, I go to the settings and put it on false. So I disable that and I'll make sure that, you know, you see the regular font. We're going to do it. We're going to go back and disable them so you can see the difference. All right, let's just run this age verification function. Let's say that is 12 years old. Let's save it. There you go. Whoa, wait, did I do something wrong? So, okay. If age is a less, sorry, hopefully you actually noticed the error. Um, if it's a less and equal, there you go. So now I'm 12. Sorry, you're, you are 12 years old. All right. So if I put 19, welcome. If I put 18, it's going to say sorry. So you need, you need to be um, 18, uh, more than 18 or old. If, if, it's only eight, if it's 18 or old, then you put this and then you're good. All right. So same thing. Look at this equal, equal and another equal. There you go. See, so things like this, they look really good. You understand it better. It looks better. So let's do that. So I'm going to go back to the settings and disable it. So you can see the change. I'm going to go back here, settings, open the file. So he, here I'm going to put false, let's save it. Let's go back. I'm going to close this, this, and here you go. So you can see now that they actually look just normal, you know, um, and a lot of people can understand that better in a video tutorial, but if you're coding by your own or maybe a team that helps a lot, it's very cool. They look awesome. So I hope this helps. I know it's a quick video, how to install this and how to use it. But that's about it. Subscribe if you want to keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye bye.